So hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the application process of the USMLE and the steps where you should take pretty much care to fill that. And in previous video, I already discussed about the USMLE steps, subjects and duration. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and like so that it helps me to keep up to date information for you. And also, coming to the point, USMLE, which is United States Medical Licensing Examination, is in by two boards that is NBME and ECFMG. NBME is for the citizens of US and Canada, and the perks for this is they have no delivery charges and the syllabus is pretty much the same. But in ECFMG, that is for international medical graduates. The first thing they should check here is to check whether their school is registered with the World Directory of Medical School. I'll provide the site below and on the screen you can see. And for those who have registered for that, you should go into the and check in the sponsor notes whether it is full or empty. If it is full, there is no need to worry. But if it is empty, you should take this step one the only thing we, you should do here is to wait and uh, the first thing for applying this process needs USMLE or ECFMG identification number for that you should go to this ECFMG online site I'll give it in the description below in that you should click IWA interactive web application and select the option whether you are new or you have already registered and all most of will, you will be new and uh, fill the details and you will get this ID number via mail and next you should fill the details and in details where should you, where you should be careful is about this uh, general suffix and US society number this general suffix is for the US citizens for their names and all and this US society number is for the people who are uh, having green card and a proper residence over there and next you will receive this acknowledgement mail in five days that is form 186 certificate of identification form so yeah this certification of identification form cost you about 145 dollars and the next thing you should do here is to go to the notary cam that is online registration process that you argue and uh, everything is in a proper way to verify that you should go here the site and um, this notary cam is available 365 days and 24 by 7 so yeah you should fill some details like us society number if yes what happens is this your address will be automatically generated for those who have green card and uh, have no proper residence or over there what you should do is you shouldn't touch that that is better for you and uh, next thing is you'll receive a mail of availability like when you will be available for an online video call which will be less than five minutes just for just to verify you and uh, you should in this process you should keep this passport ready and what it does is this notary camp sends to ECFMG this is all processes that it is completed within 10 days and next you will receive this acknowledgement mail that is certificate of identification form 186 is successful and you are ready to apply so that you can take any step like step 1 step 2 anything you wish and the eligibility period here is of three months and the next thing where you should be careful here is national identification number that is you should keep passport it's better for us to keep this passport number because we'll be carrying this passport to the examination hall some may prefer driving license number other and all but that's not good or that will be of a little confusing manner and next where you should be careful is about this medical diplomas and transcripts medical diploma for the people who graduated and the transcripts for those who have didn't graduate and uh, this medical diploma or the transcripts name and the passport name should be same otherwise you'll directly get rejected 
for those people whose uh, name are different what you should do is you should take a letter from dean and uh, you should send it to them that uh, your name and this passport name are same and if the passport um, if the diplomas or the transcripts are in uh, other languages you should translate them and uh, you can add any step here suppose if you want to take the step 1 and uh, you can also add the step 2 if you are willing to take both and next thing is you'll receive this acknowledgement form that is ems w e ems wp form 183 that is electronic verification of your college the persons who receive this uh, meaning that their college is not electronically registered with this site for them they should fill this form that is form 183 you, they should take this print out and uh, fill it and make a dean sign and stamp and also they can uh, add some additional documents like graduation certificate and all and send it to ecfmg by courier this whole process takes up till 6 uh, months almost for the people who are having uh, other documents they can download this app from the play store and uh, you can send these documents online this process will be up to 15 to 20 days and then you'll receive a scheduled permit which is of nine digit code and then you are ready to book the date for this you should go to the site prometric site in that site you can uh, appoint book your uh, date you can cancel you can reschedule for 3 months extension without uh, choosing the exam date that is uh, if you want to select the 3 months extension that costs around $90 and uh, the 3 months will be set as default that is if you choose january february march and the next month if you extend that that will be april may june automatically and uh, if you want to choose change the exam date before the examination it costs more but before 30 days it doesn't cost and uh, if you want to do the second time extension this whole process get cancelled uh, i'll give you the forms and the site where you can find this acfmg resources and all the things which you should take care of our passport and print out of uh, schedule permit print out of acknowledgement or appointment because you'll be taking this there and then you're ready to go so all the best for your preparation and process and all so if you're new to this channel please do subscribe and like and uh, i already covered this in the previous video about this usmle duration and all you can check it out once that might be useful and thank you